Hey guys, Mitko here from DN Models. Today we are reviewing a special edition T70M Soviet light tank with crew from Miniart. This is a reissue of their well known uh, issue of T70, which was first released in 2006. And in 2006, we had three options of it, including Captured German. Then we had another reissue in 2008 and a couple more in 2010. Now in 2015 we have a new version of it and the most important thing about it is it is made from the new plastic material that MiniArt are starting using from now on. This kit is well known but still we're gonna make a review and unboxing of what we have here. It's uh, contained from uh, 423 parts and 44 photo edge parts. There are decals and as you can see the red line here it's a bit different because it's a special edition. Uh, the box art is very nice. It has uh, pictures of the photo edge parts on the site and uh, we will see how many options we have once we open the box. First we're gonna take a look at the instruction sheet. What we have here is uh, instructions for the tank itself and uh, the number of details. It's a bit different from what I told you uh, written outside of the box because that excludes the crew. The all details of the tank is 337 which contains 289 plastic parts, 44 photo edge parts and 4 clear parts and decals for 9 options. Uh, option for uh, the tank itself it's uh, to be made early and late. Very nice material, uh, new instruction sheet from MiniArt, they are improving a lot. Uh, some of uh, the kits that we saw before from MiniArt, they put some of the color uh, sheet in front and in back because they wanted to use the best part of the glossy material to show the color pictures. Um, we have something very interesting here. We have a variant of a color map which uh, you can uh, cut out and use this is scaled down map probably for this late production autumn uh, 1942 it's a very nice idea for a diorama they spared us uh, a bit of a hassle to scale down everything print it out and then cut it out they, they did uh, everything for the modelers we have uh, one option from Belarus in 1944 and uh, one Tambovsky called Hosnik, which is from December 1942. We have a short description of the sprues, which are not so much. And uh, 14 uh, track uh, sprues. The tracks itself are separate. You're going to see them in a bit. Clear, very uh, thorough instructions. However, the tank itself, it's small, it resembles mostly a tankette, not a big thing tank. And that's why we have only six uh, pages of instructions containing a total of nine steps, but still enough parts. We have three more options here on the page before the last one. Uh, December 1942 in the Don River Don region, spring 1943, uh, winter camouflage and regular camouflage. The last three options are uh, from 1943, from Kursk Battle, July 1943, for winter 1943, and from August 1943, and the short description of how people should look like once built. Let's take a look at the sprues. These are the figurines on the sprue which is separate from the tank. 
very nicely done the helmets are clean crisp the clothes are uh, folded very naturally faces look wonderful everything is great I'm not an expert on figurines because I don't like figurines around my models but these uh, they look very nice we have the wheels next and the sprocket some additional parts storage boxes on the side and so on they are two equal parts uh, equal sprues I'm sorry and they are very uh, clean molded without uh, any flash as you can see detail on these is uh, small which is uh, typical for mini art however their fit is great from what I've seen so far and I must say that this small tank probably will be a pleasure to be built this is the biggest sprue which contains the hull of the tank the bottom, the upper part, the turret, the fenders the exhaust, some part of the drivetrain here we have a wonderful texture some uh, axe and shovel, a hammer small stuff, very clean and clearly molded uh, I think this will be a, a pleasure to be completed next we have the tracks and the tracks are separate links I will open those for you right now so there we have them, the track links they're clickable and uh, I think with those in the set you don't need frills or model cast in aftermarket tracks those are nice and if you pay uh, a bit more attention to them there will be a pretty good if not better substitute for the aftermarket tracks lastly we have the photo edge sheet the decal sheet and the clear parts the clear parts as you can see are a couple of periscopes and the headlights and the tail lights of the vehicle and the decal sheet is uh, very thin it looks promising it has Slavic letters and uh, numbers which are uh, not uh, the only option to build this vehicle because you have uh, an option to make it a uh, Beute Panzer which is captured German with uh, German insignia or uh, to replicate the Slavic letters uh, by yourself painting them on the turret or on the sides because uh, most likely they were hand, hand painted on the vehicle itself during the war we have a lot of uh, photo edge stuff, thin meshes thin, flexible and uh, pretty much that uh, that's it, that's uh, what we have in the box we have relatively smaller number that we used to see in mini art in this kit but have in mind that this is a nine year old tooling but uh, then it's, uh, it's a wonderful vehicle it's a small thing, very attractive I know uh, one of their old toolings that uh, uh, was made uh, quite nicely and uh, beat up around 2000 models in competition in Moshon uh, a couple of years ago and uh, it, it is very very attractive thing so it's highly recommended I hope you like the review uh, leave your comment below like if you enjoyed the video and then if you have any questions about mini art or how to contact them or whatever feel free to to contact me uh, whenever you you like thanks for watching and see you in the next one